Finally, I got the door back. You can still see the color difference though. Today we are actually off to get our door fixed. That was done last year. Um, can you hold this for a sec, kid? Thanks. Um, now where is it? It's really dirty, but right in here. No, right here. You can see the cracking of the paint. Like right here. Um, I can't get the right angle on it. Uh, it's wrinkles and yeah, right there you can see it so it's wrinkles in the paint um, that I could let go but I don't know you can see it right there from when they did it um, so that means then this decal has to come off to there and then the badging has to come off this will have to come off this guy's no longer around either, so we'll figure it out. So we're heading down to um, the repair shop. Uh, we had last, well, I don't remember when it was, but our we had somebody, I think it was when that lady hit me. It was my fault, go figure. All right, we have great insurance in Canada, or BC, love it. Um, so someone hits me and it's my fault. Uh, anyway, I had it repaired at a um, repair shop and which was fine and everything. I didn't realize that they had done it wrong until somebody in their, you know, how people are in parking lots and really don't care and open their doors and hit people. Well, someone dinged my door with their door and the paint actually started to peel. And I'm just like, oh crap. So I ended up, ended up putting a patch over it until uh, I could get it fixed because they wouldn't return my calls. So I, rep I, like, I sent ICBC, which is our insurance company, a message and they said, well, we try, see what you can do. And I messaged them, didn't hear back. The lady actually hung up on me. So I posted a review. Uh, within minutes, almost, I got a call from Tom, who's the manager there. And Tom's a great guy. Um, don't get me wrong on that one. I, I do like Tom. I won't name the, the place that fixed it. But at that point, I had lost my um, trust in them. So I appreciated that they you know, responded. I took my review down and I went to a different shop. And that shop, which is Brothers, you know, they've been great at fixing the mess ups because they haven't done it properly. And, you know, I don't know, the, I've been in like three or four times now, uh, but they've stand behind their product. So now what's gonna have to happen here is they're gonna have to actually sand this um, and then repaint this door. So we're heading down there right now uh, to get that fixed. And then I can't have a decal for at least two weeks as long as our weather is above zero. Um, so I've already scheduled it with wrap guys. I've let Emma know and I've let Terrence know uh, who helped me. We worked on this design together um, that we'll be in and uh, getting this door uh, redone. So I'm looking forward to that. This will be, you know, oh, yeah, we're gonna get it all wrapped up. So let's get down there. So we we're just leaving our truck here at Brothers um, to get fixed. Um, oh, it's hard to, but right there where that clean mark is, is where we have to fix. There's a wrinkle in the paint there. So that means this whole door will have to get redone, this door here. Um, so yeah. So we are off running. So I just dropped the truck off at Brothers. Um, they say they'll probably have it done by Tuesday. 
So give Wednesday, Wednesday the latest. I've got it booked two weeks after that and a day to get the wrap on the door because it takes two weeks for it to cure. So everything so far, knock on wood, it is running smoothly. The only thing that's not running smoothly is I'm in a Chevy. Alan, don't say anything. That's to you. Anyway, um, yes. Now I got a bunch of running around to do. I got to run into Vancouver. So let's go. So I'm heading down to pick up my truck. Um, I'm told it's done uh, for the repairs to the paint. Uh, I've already got the wrap scheduled for two weeks from now, um, which on the video you'll see next. Uh, hopefully everything's done properly with the paint. There's no ripples, there's no marks like there's been last time. Um, they've been really good at fixing it. Just the problem was I, I shouldn't have to go through all this. So I have had um, them also put in my new headlights. Um, so I appreciate that. And um, let's get down there and find out what it looks like, I guess. Keep my fingers crossed. Really? Okay. Yeah, because I, I had a call Friday and they said that it was, it was supposed to be ready and I said I couldn't pick it up. So I would be coming by today. That's why I thought I would give you a call. Okay, so it's not ready till tomorrow. Um, do you know what time tomorrow? Like tomorrow afternoon? No, it, it, it's just, it keeps getting stretched. And it's just, I, all I want is an honest answer. I don't want to just keep being dragged out. Like if you tell me it's going to be a week or a week and a half, that's fine. But I don't want to be told it's like three days and then, you know, two weeks later. I just want honesty. It's all I want. Okay. So it's... Because I was... Well, I was told that already. I was already told that it was being done, that painting was being done. No, I was told that on Thursday. Yeah. But you're just saying it's being done now. So this is where I'm getting a little confused. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do for tomorrow. Otherwise, it might have to be Wednesday morning. Um, I've got, I've got meetings, so I'll have to see what we can do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. It gets frustrating that I was told that it would be roughly a week for my truck to be done. I'm going on two weeks now. Um, I was told this is when we need it. Uh, my truck sat outside with no door, no covering, just open to the elements and people uh, on a public street uh, for a day or two. I don't know. I spotted it one day and called. Um, and the manager, of course, isn't there. He's on holidays. Um, I'm very OCD with things like that. And, you know, he knows that. I wish he would have told me he was going away. So I, I'm a little frustrated. Hopefully they've done a good job this time on the painting. Uh, because this is my one, two, three, four, I think fifth time in. The door was fixed four times before. And now this time, so it's five. Uh, it's either four or five. I've lost track. So, I mean, a door should be fixed once. But they've been good about fixing it. So, but it's taking time away from everything else. Deep breath. Okay, another day. In the meantime, I'm stuck in a Chev. Oh, my God. Just got another call from Brothers. Same message I got Friday, saying that my truck will be ready the end of the day. It's Tuesday now. So they called me yesterday telling me the same thing, and then called me today telling me the same thing. Um, I was also told that they got my headlights in, and now this girl's telling me that they couldn't get my headlights in because 
the wiring looks too complicated. Um, this is why I don't like dealing with other people besides the person I'm dealing with. Um, I, I just, and I said, have, have the manager call me. Oh, so you want me to keep the truck until he gets back? Is that what I said? No, I said, have the manager call me. I just, I just, I, I have no time for stupid. I really don't. It just blows me away how, uh, and the amount of lies, I just, it blows me away. Like if, if it's not going to be ready, just be freaking honest with me and tell me it's not going to be ready, sir. Or it's not ready. Don't tell me it's going to be ready one day and then the next day and then the next day and the next day. Ugh. So this is the vehicle I'm driving right now. Blah. So we're heading down to pick up the truck. Um, the girl, snotty little girl, called again today, um, giving me attitude, saying, if you don't pick it up, we're going to charge you $60 a day. I'm like, you do realize this is my, like, my sixth time in to fix this door. Like, the only reason I'm coming back is because I like the manager, and unfortunately, he's away. Well, he can't call you because he's away. I understand that, but he can call me when he gets back. Well, you have to pick up your vehicle. I know that. We've already had this discussion. I, you know, oh, I don't know what today's society is becoming. I really don't. Um, anyway, let's get down. Let's pick up the truck. Let's see if there's any damage left on the vehicle. My luck, it's going to be a mess and a gong show again. And I'll have to wait another week till the manager's in. Because, I mean, that's what happened last time. Um, let's go see. Let's go find out. Let's take a look at the door. The truck's gonna go and he's gonna whine and complain about it again. You think I mean, so? Yeah, he's, there's like eight, eight or ten wires that have to be cut and joined. Because I don't, I, my electrician's gone now, so I don't, I need somebody else that can do it. I can give you his number, you can call him and ask him. I just have to listen to whining? Yeah. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. He's actually a really good guy. Okay. Are you the assistant manager? Yes. Okay. So any. I have had a few issues with the girl at the front, but you probably go through a lot of them. So. <laughs> I go. I. <laughs> it's been pretty stressful this week because friends didn't leave a lot of notes. So we're just. But he didn't even tell me he was going away, so I gotta give him shit for that. Yeah. So I'm not happy. We're we're we're, we're on the fly. Uh. We're a, a detailer. We got a, we got a, a, a little a lot guy washing cars right yeah. now. So. Uh, no, I really appreciate it. No problem. So, are you, are you picking it up today? I am picking it up. Okay, perfect. Yeah. You can go talk to the, the girl that you got to call me. Great. Uh, she, she's okay. She's, a, she's going through some stuff on her own. Okay. So that's why she's calling me. Well, I think everybody is in a way or another. No, if I explain it to you, you'd say, holy shit, you should take some time off. Fair enough. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's way better. No ripples in the paint now. Looks kind of funny though. Okay. I'm here to pick up the uh, ram and drop off the the Chevy. Yep. I already talked to the assistant. Assistant manager. Yeah, he was out there. Looks good, finally. Okay. Just looking at the paint. There. So we got a paint drip right there. There's a ripple. Where is it? A little bit of a bubble right here you can see that um, it's hard to see now is this me being too picky 
I don't know. Is it? Got paint on this. Yeah, when it, we got paint right here. Masking it off. Oh, I can't deal with it anymore. But anyway, there's the door. It's uh looks different without half of the without the van part. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the color difference. It's a different some blacks. On our way, what have I done now? I guess I am finished that mix. It's really hard to tell, right? Unless you're blending your color. You know, unless you're blending your color, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I know last time they took um, both doors. Okay, so the manager's back Monday. It is Wednesday. So I've got to drive around with half deckle truck till Monday. I'm not going to get an argument because it's not going to do any good. But the door needs to be repainted again because it doesn't match. I've had two people, the painter look at it, he agreed, and the girl's having issues with, really or nice sweetheart today, um, said the same thing, that it doesn't match. And I had her take pictures of it, so. <sighs> Is this saga ever gonna end? Stay tuned. Finally, I got a door back. You can still see the color difference though. 